Meet the Australian Rice Grower. Australian rice growers have a proud history of feeding the world through the efficient conversion of water into rice. Our farmers work hard to produce clean, safe and healthy rice, producing more rice per hectare than anywhere else in the world. Rice is an annual crop which is only grown when enough water is available. This makes it perfectly suited to Australia's variable climate. Scientists and rice breeders are always looking for ways to improve the rice varieties grown in Australia, so they are the most water efficient and productive plants possible. They have even developed varieties with special nutritional qualities, such as the low GI rice variety Dungara. Rice is a valuable industry, providing jobs for thousands of people and plays an important role in the economy of regional Australia. Rice is important to the rest of the world too, feeding two-thirds of the world's population. Every day, more than 20 million people around the world eat the rice grown by Australian farmers. So, how do farmers grow rice? Sowing rice. Most of the rice produced in Australia is grown on irrigated farms in southern New South Wales and northern Victoria between October and April. Rice can only be grown on approved soils and farmers need to follow the rice growing rules set by their irrigation company. The farmers start preparing their rice fields in July and August, laser levelling their paddocks, pulling up banks and applying fertiliser, which helps the rice to grow and stay healthy. Rice growers sow the crop from October to early November. Many farmers use a plane to sow their rice seeds into bays, which are already filled with water. They use satellite guidance technology to spread the seed evenly across the bays. Rice can also be sown using a combine or other type of seeding machine. After sowing, the fields are flushed with water and drained a couple of times before permanent water is applied around December. Watering and panicle initiation. Watering the rice is very important and rice growers manage their water carefully to grow healthy crops that produce lots of rice. Farmers keep permanent water on their rice crops for all or most of the growing season, depending on the way the crop has been sown. Concrete stops between the rice bays allow water to flow from one bay to the next and growers raise or lower the doors to control water flow. The water is used like a blanket to protect the rice crop from variations in temperature. During January and February, panicle initiation and flowering occur. This phase is very important as this is when the rice head forms and seeds develop. During these hot months, there can be a lot of evapotranspiration, so farmers monitor the water levels and the health of their rice plants very closely during this time. Ripening and maturity. As the grain starts to mature, the farmers lock up the bays. This means the stops between the fields are closed, so no more irrigation water flows in and the rice crop uses the rest of the water to finish growing. Deciding when to lock up the water for harvest is an important decision. Locking up too early will decrease the yield and lower grain quality. Locking up too late will delay harvest, waste valuable water and can result in reduced grain quality and boggy fields. Water is only drained from the crop in very wet weather and most farmers store the water in dams to be used again. Farmers check the moisture content of the rice with a moisture meter. When the grain contains about 22% moisture, the crop is ready to harvest. Harvesting rice. Rice is harvested from March to May using machines called combine harvesters, commonly referred to as headers by farmers. Careful harvesting is very important so the grain isn't damaged. The harvesting machine separates the grain from the straw. This is called threshing. 
After the rice has been cut and threshed, it is stored in a bin in the harvester. When the bin is full, the harvester transfers the rice to another bin being pulled by a tractor. These are often called chaser bins because they follow the harvester while it continues to operate. This saves the farmer a lot of time. The tractor unloads the rice from the chaser bin into trucks on the edge of the paddock. When the rice is harvested, it is called paddy. Trucks transport the paddy to rice storage sheds for drying. The paddy dries in the shed until it contains about 14% moisture. After this, it is held in storage until it is ready to be transported to a rice mill. Milling rice. The majority of rice grown in Australia is milled and marketed under the Sunrise brand. Sunrise has been marketing rice to Australians for over 50 years and is one of Australia's largest exporters of branded food products and one of the world's largest rice food companies. When the rice arrives at the rice mill, each individual grain must then go through a number of steps to ensure only the best quality grains end up on your dinner plate. Firstly, the outer layers must be removed to separate the grain from its cocoon, the rice plant. This is called hulling. Rice milling produces very little waste, so this plant matter is also kept and stored ready to be used in other products, such as pet food. After hulling, the new rice grains are then milled, polished and sorted, ready for packing. Contrary to popular belief, white rice is not bleached to make it white. All rice grains start their journey as brown rice. However, the white grains have been polished and their outer bran layer removed to reveal the pearly grain inside. Sunrise also photograph every single rice grain to check the size and colour. This is called grading and sorting. Any grains that are broken or do not make the grade are not discarded. These are separated and used to make other products in your supermarket such as rice flour and cereal. Enjoying rice. Did you know that Australian rice feeds 20 million people in the world every day? Sunrise sells Australian grown rice to almost 60 countries around the world. That is a lot of people enjoying Australian grown produce. And the fantastic thing? You can bring the world right back here to Australia. Rice is used in many different cuisines and is ideal for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Australian grown jasmine rice tastes great served cold in a Thai beef salad. Or for something more exotic, medium grain rice is perfect in a Spanish paella with fresh Australian seafood. Our Aussie farmers also grow sushi rice, which is a short grain right here in the Riverina, so you can make your own sushi at home. Rice can be used to make quick and easy snacks for the whole family. Rice cakes are made from 100% brown rice and can be enjoyed topped with salad, fruit or your favourite spread. Sunrise have also developed microwavable long grain, brown and jasmine rice that is piping hot and ready to devour in just 90 seconds. There are no added nasties in microwave rice, just great technology. The good news is rice is not only versatile, but tasty, gluten free and good for you too. Hundreds of grains, millions of possibilities.